um, a quick overview of the syntax and uh, the LaTeX uh, packages will be uh, within the uh, document class and within the begin document. I mean, in fact, it is between uh, the uh, document class and between the body of the uh, LaTeX document. So that is where we'll put in all these packages. And uh, technically, this area, the area between the document class and the uh, body of the LaTeX is called preamble. And uh, most of the packages are done or incorporated within the preamble. And it will be uh, not uh, acceptable uh, if you put um, the packages above the uh, document class or below or in between the uh, big document, uh, I mean this begin document and end document. So it is necessary to put the all the packages and required for the document uh, within the uh, uh, document class and the begin document or in other words within the preamble. And uh, this is your uh, syntax for the uh, packages like it should be uh, written as slash use package and the option and this is a style file. So style files is the um, file type of file associated or it's just the uh, package uh, style file. I mean it's package extension. And for the document class, we have got an extension called .cls, but the for all the packages, it is .sty. And it'll be very difficult for me to explain each and every one of the packages. There are in m plenty of packages available for that uh, LaTeX. And it is also not required to load all the packages, which is uh, in the preamble for the document. So I think it'll be appropriate, it'll be wise if you choose the appropriate package for your um, um, particular documentation requirement. So for example, if you're, as I said, like if you want to incorporate pictures, then you can use graphics. For example, if your document doesn't have any picture, then you don't have to really use uh, the package called uh, graphics. And uh, this is a style file, and uh, we'll be discussing some of the uh, default uh, packages and its associated options. Say for example, even the package um, gets modified based on the arguments here, like the options provided here. So for example, we'll be doing that in one of the cases like in hyperref, like where which we can provide a hyperlink, when which the default hyperlink will uh, get in get uh, the URL printed in a box or a frame. That gets removed by providing here the option called hide links. So that is an, another important thing to be noted in packages. And it is not mandatory to uh, have options for all the packages. This is just the options. And uh, this is the uh, some of the sample packages that we can discuss here. Like uh, if you wanted to incorporate Times New Roman font uh, in your uh, document, then you can use a package called Times. Then the um, procedure or the syntax for it is like slash use package Times. So this will print the document in Times New Roman font. Uh, if you don't provide this, then the document will take care of the uh, default uh, sans serif font. And for if you have mathematical equations, uh, then you should look into uh, the AMS math and AMS font and AMS symbols when which can incorporate uh, the mathematical formula, the mathematical equations, the mathematical symbols and mathematical notations. Um, uh, one thing important is like uh, for the package, no, this is a single package and this comes in a three different varieties of packages. So you can even incorporate all the types of packages or of a similar nature in a single use package uh, syntax itself. In this case, like AMS math, comma, space, AMS font, comma, AMS symbol. It, it can also um, um, incorporate all other packages in a single line, but then like if there is any compatibility package in between the packages, then it will be not a uh, correct procedure for incorporating all the packages together. So what we do is we generally group packages based on the uh, category that belongs to. For example, this is font uh, package there which we give it in the um, single thing. If you have a multiple fonts, then probably can give. But multiple fonts may not be possible because LaTeX will take only a particular uh, font at a time. Or you can even uh, change them by uh, incorporating in the body of the um, document. Then uh, this being the mathematical form, uh, mathematical um, notations and mathematical packages, and this could be uh, grouped together. Not necessarily you have to give a space. For example, in this case, uh, we incorporate symbol fonts, like special symbols, uh, symbols or uh, graphics or info graphics kind of font uh, that we'll be using uh, using uh, by uh, incorporating this uh, package, like CI font, comma without space and be another more worrisome uh, package. Um, 
and um, uh, you can note, uh, please note that like uh, you have to provide only commas as separator so otherwise like it's not necessary to have a space between this thing but if you give space also it's, it's not gonna be a problem and uh, this is the uh, important very important package I use with uh, at all my documents which has a lot of pictures and images and it's called graphics so incorporate images and uh, multimedia files and all requires a package called graphics I request you to uh, note on the name it is not G-R-A-P-H-I-C-A many beginners will make a mistake that uh, graphics they take the English word graphics and they incorporate it and e they cannot compile it because it will throw it will throw an error called package error so it would be good if you note the uh, spelling it's just G-R-A-P-H-I-C-X uh, it's not S so that's the important thing in uh, the packages and uh, let's begin with a small example so I have a document so don't worry about this like we'll be uh, compiling a lot of documents later on in this MOOC course but as of now this is the example uh, that I have to uh, emphasize and uh, this is a big document class and I just had an um, type as called article document class then I just uh, made a uh, package called use package graphics so which means that unless I don't do it I cannot incorporate image and this is the uh, body of the document it's called begin document and end document so include graphics and height and width is an optional argument for this include graphics so I wanted the height of uh, the picture to be three meters and width of sorry three centimeters and the width is also three centimeters and this is the name of the file uh, you don't have to generally uh, provide the extension like in the case of a uh, class file and a child file we have not provided the extension dot cls and sty you can even still incorporate but sometimes when you incorporate the other um, formats like for example um, photo dot pdf then you probably look into uh, the extension because that's when uh, the latex will find the document from your repository and uh, this is my photographs like uh, just made a small uh, instance of uh, incorporating the photo with this uh, argument of three centimeter by three centimeter three centimeter and three centimeter high so this is the um, the example for uh, the package called graphics so another example is called hyperref uh, it probably I've just discussed this a little later uh, but then um, this is an um, important um, thing that if you incorporate a lot of the URLs in your URL or websites in your uh, uh, or any links um, hyperlinks in your uh, document this is very important as I told like the option called hide links if you don't provide this hide links for a hyperref package then you'll get an output with a box frame or uh, around this URL so this is particularly my uh, Google Scholar page so in this case the uh, document class and followed by the uh, package and begin document end document in slash url within bracket end bracket so whatever you incorporate within that then that gets printed that gets printed as an hyperlink so for example in this case uh, my google scholar and this is the output so when i click it will take me to my uh, google scholar page yes here it is and the hyperlink really works but sometimes um, not many people will appreciate the hyperlink to be this big so or it looks a lit little uncomfortable or uh, uh, not very clear for some of the people so they wanted to put inside or embed this inside some text so a text or button they prefer in their email or something or uh, in any documentation this will be really not good if you have this big uh, that and it is some random characters um, so it'll be nice if they put inside uh, some uh, text or something like that say for example I wanted to make uh, Google Scholar as a text and when I click that then this URL should be uh, rooted to so in this example the next example is example 3 the same I've removed the hyperlink uh, I'm sorry uh, the hide links for the hyperlink the option and in this case um, there's another uh, format called instead of the URL in the previous case an open bracket and close bracket and we have got this uh, href open bracket and close bracket and in continuation with that is an open bracket and a close bracket which means that this URL gets embedded in this text for example this is the output so this URL so whatever the text might be you uh, you you like it you can provide it here for example you can even provide it G scholar 
or GIS or whatever like um, particular in this case I've taken a Google Scholar so whatever uh, the text you give here this is absolutely your choice so there's no um, format for this or no uh, any other prerequisite but this has to be in a URL format so just the general URL format and uh, this gets embedded uh, within this uh, text for example this is an output so I'm just gonna click that and yeah here we go so the same uh, url and uh, that gets embedded this looks a little good so probably like uh, if i'm putting it in my resume i rather prefer this because it's very cool but there are some other uh, instances where you can couple uh, different i mean you can club uh, more or two or more uh, packages uh, for example if i wanted to make this to be a colored text then I cannot go and do it like it's not like in Microsoft Word where you can select the document and can select the color from the palette. So you need to write or you need to uh, give a uh, package for that. So that package is generally called X color. So the next example, I've got the hyperref text and also I want uh, the X color. But don't worry about these things. Uh, this is this looks very uh, clumsy and it will be very confusing. But all I've made it like. Uh, I've made a text in the form of a Google color and uh, this is the uh, color standard colors that Google use or probably I just made some modification in the colors to suit the uh, documentation and uh, so the same uh, stuff like we have the href within bracket and in bracket is your URL and within bracket and in bracket is all your text. So the text color is the, co the one which is used for making the uh, colored text. So it has an argument, say for example, in this case is blue, blue color for G. So it's a blue color for G and red color for O, so red color for O, but this is straightforward. All these things will work only if you have an X color package. And the next one is called uh, text color yellow uh, with an exclamatory mark 20 and with an exclamatory mark orange. So it means that I'm mixing an yellow in a 20 percentage of orange, so something like that. So that will make uh, this particular uh, color and uh, that will be for the text O so it means that the syntax is text color within bracket the color name and uh, close the bracket and within the bracket is the uh, the uh, alphabet or the text uh, you don't have to provide really um, a, a small uh, individual letters you can even put a lot of uh, even you can put in sentence that will print it that particular color and um, probably like the scholar have not given anything so it takes the default color to be uh, black so if you wanted to uh, change this color for example this text to be uh, gray as in uh, google scholar you can give a try so for that you have to use like text color within bracket is gray and close the bracket and open the bracket and put a scholar and close the bracket so that is how uh, it is like it it is safe and i've also given us a text bf which means that this will be a bold font so uh, even though it's a color is black, it's bold here. So it's bold font, black colored text is this color. So it has got an open argument and it gets closed here. And whichever is in between is the text color formats and so on. And uh, this also hyperlink. So we'll give a click here or click here. If you see the uh, icon, the hand icon with the uh, hyperlink. So I'll just give it, give it a go and it'll took me to the same location, my Google Scholar page. And the next example is really interesting example. So the advantage of package is not only the basic stuff like uh, the colors or uh, the uh, font shapes and the bond structure, I mean font structure, um, being a bold or italics or anything else like that. So you can even give some special symbols, like for example, a package called PI font, uh, which will yield us a different uh, I mean the different um, uh, I mean different symbols associated uh, with the uh, particular package. Uh, so for example, in this case, uh, just like an aeroplane symbol for school, this is just a random symbol that I've used. Like if you put a slash DING open bracket 40 and close bracket, it will go to it will go to the uh, PI font uh, with the uh, number 40 and will select that particular uh, font or a particular symbols and pro provide it here. For example, I've just written like uh, ding 40 school, just something like comma, ding 45, 45 is just like something with the hand written, something like that. And um, this is for the teacher and this is for the book and uh, you can have a bullet number, I mean uh, the numbers uh, encircled in uh, in the um, format and uh, the telephone symbol, like for example, there are so many symbols you can even give a try. You can even give and try uh, if you do um, if 
if you happen to uh, get the do documentation for PI on this. And uh, that's it uh, regarding the packages. In the next lecture, we'll see uh, the um, uh, the place where we can download the packages and uh, the process by which we can uh, incorporate into, um, I mean, a process by which we can download the font and up incorporate in the MCAC distribution to users, like something like that. Say, for example, if PI font is not inbuilt in your uh, MCAC distribution, then you have to uh, manually incorporate into your uh, particular um, um, MCTEC distribution to enable this. Otherwise, you cannot able to incorporate this in your documentation. So, so far we have done a basic overview of packages and uh, don't worry if you don't get it, like we will be doing uh, a lot of documentations with all these packages and so on. So, on the fly you can even uh, happen, you can even uh, can learn so many things about the packages and so on. So, this is the end of the lecture and uh, it's a great day and see you next time.